fishing this grass flat. Got off the bank a little bit because uh, these fish are post frontal, so they like to hang out in these grass beds. And we've been taking, a little, we've been taking our time trying to figure this out. It, it took a while. George has been getting a lot of bites on this big black worm. So I decided to throw a little Carolina rig in here. First cast. Get hooked up. That's the kind of fish you catch here in Florida. <laughs> That's why we came here. You can see, I mean, with just a tiny little, tiny little Carolina rig. Very small finesse version of the of the of the rig. You want to keep it so that that bait's just floating right above the surface of that submerged grass, and that grass is probably only three feet deep. But yeah, it's a start. First cast. See if we can't make a few more passes of this. So, cheers. And what I did for that is I tied up a really light finesse Carolina rig. We do this a lot in California. Just a tiny little barrel swivel, I mean barrel weight, and there's a little rubber stopper right here. Because it's it's such a light weight that you don't need to tie up the whole Carolina swivel mainline uh, leader uh, deal that it comes standard with a Carolina race. So this is just a, basically a lightweight rubber stopper up about two feet up the line, and then a, a weightless uh, the Senko was doing really well, but also that finesse worm, just a standard black finesse worm. But today I caught a lot on this Senko. The big one came on the Senko. So light Carolina rig and Texas rig worm. Those are the two techniques that we really put the big ones in the box. Try these out whenever you get around grass. And the grass is slightly submerged so you can get it up and over that grass. And see if you can't uh, match the same day that uh, I had today.